Okay, Lucas and Cami. Today we're gonna do something called plant to plate. What do you think that means? That means we need to take fruits out of a tree and we're good, and we're just gonna put them on a bowl or a cup. Very good. Yeah, I have some cups for you. Good job. What about for you, Cami? What does that mean? Plant to plate. So we can plant to plate so we can wash them so so our earth can stay good so we can eat them. Yeah, I want to preserve the earth, right? Yeah. So we're going to responsibly harvest. So you brought up a good point. Okay, so I want you to harvest only when I say it's time to harvest. But we, before we start our harvest, I want each of you to tell me at least one thing that you're grateful for today. Something that you're, you're thankful or grateful for, that you're appreciative for. Can you tell me something about your day that you're really excited and thankful for? You want to share, Lucas? Yep. What is it? So it's grateful for to make food. Mm. So we can eat. So mm -hmm. our stomach doesn't so hurt, but then we're hungry. Mm, okay, so you're you're grateful for the nourishment of food. Mhm. Mm what about you, Cammy? What are you grateful for? So the earth stays good. So we can eat fruit and vegetables. Mm, so you're grateful for the vitality in the earth yeah. that gives us fruits and vegetables? Yeah. That's great. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it, okay? okay? We're going to go to three plants today. And the first plant is your blueberry, right? Your blueberry shrub right behind you. But only when I say go, you're going to responsibly harvest. And I want you each to find three blueberries, but don't eat them yet, okay? You're just gonna harvest, you're not gonna eat yet. And you're gonna keep them in your cup and you're gonna keep your cup nice and safe because it's a, it's a bountiful harvest, you wanna protect it, okay? And you're gonna take your time. You ready? You, you understand the directions? Go. Just from this, just from this blueberry shrub. Three each, okay? Make sure they're nice and ripe, nice and blue. And if you can't find anything, we'll go to the other blueberry. Yeah. Let's grab a few more. Good job. Before you harvest and before I say go, I want you to tell me something you notice that's different from this plant versus the blueberry plant. What's different? Go ahead, Lucas. Well, the plants are more spiky than the other one. Spiky? Yeah. Okay. What do you notice, Cammie? Because they're different, that they don't have the little, the little pops, the little. So, so instead the of instead of having balls in it. Very good observation. So instead of one little berry, it has multiple little berries, huh? The blueberry is a single fruit, whereas this is what we call a multiple or an aggregate fruit. It has multiple little flowers that get pollinated, and then all those little flowers turn into little berries. Whereas the, the blueberry is one single flower that turns into one big blueberry. If you were a plant and you wanted to spread your seeds far and wide, would you choose a turtle or a bird? Definitely a turtle more defensive yep. so the the raspberry and i'm sorry the blackberry has spikes because it's a form of defense it's a defense mechanism so okay you ready to harvest yep. so since this one has more fruit but it also has spikes i want you to harvest five this time but i want you to do it carefully okay so go harvest go five carefully you can get more if you want but at least five yeah, be careful. Nice and ripe, dark berries. And if you can't get five safely, then that's okay. Right in front of you. To your left. To your, no, to your left. Right there. There it is. There you go. Good job. Over there? Are you going to help? Thank you, Lucas. So we each got one lemon. All right. So what do you notice about this plant versus the berry plants? 
know. If you were to look down here, does this look thicker? They're thicker, huh? Yep. Thicker and dirt. Dirt. What do you notice about this plant? The is spiky but soft. Well, these are seeds. Oh, these are soft. These are soft? Yeah. yeah. What about um, the, the leaves themselves? What do they remind you of? They remind me of like a plant gets you healthy things. Like a healthy plant? Yeah, like a healthy plant. And I'm going to use my knife to harvest a little bit, but I want you to make an observation. And I want you to Tell me what this reminds you of. I'm gonna crush up the stem. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crush up the stem and I want you to tell me what you think it smells like. It might smell familiar. Go ahead. It smells like lemon. It smells like lemon? Yeah. This is actually lemon grass. So we could chop this up and put it in our water. It's like lemon. It smells yummy, huh? Yep. Okay. You could make lemonade or that. You could make lemonade. Oh. Can you believe that? You can make lemonade from a grass? Now, when we looked at the lemongrass... You got your seat, Cammy. When we look at the lemongrass, does the lemongrass have branches like the trees or no? No. No. So, some plants are herbaceous. They're soft and green like this. And some plants are woody like trees and shrubs. Can you name another plant that's herbaceous, that doesn't have wood, but we eat a lot of? What can you think, Cammie? Something that's green that we eat a lot of in our home, in our family. Peas. Peas? Yeah. Yeah, those are herbaceous. Peas don't really put on wood. Thank Good thinking. Cucumbers. cucumbers, yeah. Cucumbers don't really put on wood. They're, they're, they're a fruiting plant but they're not really that woody. They have broad leaves. Very good. Now when I say go, I want I want you to keep your eyes closed. No peeking, no peeking. And you're gonna you're gonna feel around for your your blueberry. I want you to find it with your fingers and see how it compares to the to the other fruits in your cup, okay? So go ahead and find your blueberry. So what does the blueberry feel like? I feel like it's squishy. Uh huh. Yeah, sometimes it's a little squishy. Uh -huh. What does it taste like? Is it sweet? Is it sour? What does it remind you of? You're like, s savoring it. It was. It was. That was not mine. This one was mine. This oh, one. you found another one. Okay, go ahead and taste it. It takes out the skin. Oh, okay. There's a little bit of skin. Let's try a blackberry. Nice and... I want you to feel for it nice and slow. And find a blackberry. Found one. Found one? Now, what do you notice about the blackberry compared to the blueberry? Since the blueberry has only just one ball, it ha the blackberry only just has a lot of balls. It has a lot of balls? What do you notice, Cammie? It has a lot because the blueberry... So, so your cut could be a lot purple and black. Oh, okay. What about the flavor? Go ahead and try it. How would, you, how would you describe it? I describe it like the lemon tree. I mean lemon grass. So is it more sour? Is that what you're trying to say? Yep, more sour than the lemon grass. Is it... Is the blackberry more sour than the blueberry, or is it sweeter than the blueberry in your mind? What do you notice about the lemon compared to the blueberry and the blackberry? What do you notice, Kimmy? Uh, it's lemony, it's sour, and it tastes like warhead. Lemony and it's sour and it tastes like warheads. What about the outside and the texture and the, the way outside, it feels? The outside, because because it will because it will once you let it 
juicy out. So the outside's a little more thick skinned? Yeah. It's a thick skin to keep the juices in. What about the, here, I'll, let me cut them for you. Then you can try them. What about the color? It's yellow. It's yellow? Yeah. It's easy that the color is yellow. Easier to spot? Yeah. Now what do you notice about the smell compared to the blueberries and the blackberries? It's sour. Super sour, huh? It's sour than like... Now when you eat the berries compared to the lemon, do you think that it has a different effect on your body? Would it would it have different nutrition or the same nutrition? The same nutrition. It'd have the same? Yep. Yeah, they're all healthy for you, huh? Yeah. Do you think they're healthy for different reasons, maybe? Yeah. Go ahead and try it. You're gonna squeeze it? <laughs> Ooh, makes you cringe, huh? Makes you pucker up. Hold up. Yeah. So another word for that sour pucker is bitter. And bitters are actually good for your liver. So when you eat a lemon, even though it makes you go it's actually really good for cleansing your liver. And when you eat blueberries, blueberries have a lot of pigments in them that are good for your brain and your eyes. And they have a lot of antioxidants. So cool. You like it? Yep. I want us to channel our inner animal spirits every time we leave the garden, so we feel connected to the to the garden. I want you to think about your inner inner animal spirit. Keep it in your head, okay? You both have a, an animal spirit in your mind. Yep. Yeah. You, you have one in your mind, Cami. Yeah. What did you learn in today's lesson? I want I want at least one thing that you learned and then we'll close our session. What did you learn today, Lucas? We learned today of all the different parents. I mean, um, fruits. Mm hmm You learned about biodiversity and the fruits? Yep. And the different nutrition. Uh-huh. What about you, Cammy? Careful with getting the juice in your eyes. What did you learn today? Oh, sorry. sorry. I was just about taste this fruit for eating vegetables and fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, about getting lemon, blueberries, blackberries, about squeezing lemon. Yeah. Why don't we say thank you to the garden? Thank you for the harvest of abundance. Go ahead and it. we'll say it together. Thank you, garden. Thank you, Lord. For the harvest and abundance. For harvest and abundance. And, and now you do your, your animal spirit call. Whatever your inner animal spirit is, I want you to go ahead and and channel it. So mine's a coyote, so I'm going to howl like a coyote. Okay? What's yours? Hedgehog. A what? Hedgehog. A hedgehog? What about you, Cammie? Of course. Okay. So we're all going to make our animal spirit noises in closing, okay? One, two, three. Oh! Thank you, Garden, for this harvest in abundance. And thank you, Lucas and Cammie, for being brave tasters and great learners. Do you see what other yeah, vegetables we can other find? Vegetables we can find. In the garden that we didn't taste today? Yeah, let's look at the squash and the cucumbers. Show the way. What else can you see that we didn't try today? Use your your incredible horse vision to find what else do you see? I see cucumbers. You see cucumbers? Yeah. Lettuce. And lettuce? And yeah, more stuff. What about you, Lucas? What are we planting here? Carrots. Carrots. Carrots and radishes. And radishes, good job. And Where's the pumpkin? Show me where the pumpkin is. Where is it? Right. We have two pumpkins growing right here and right here. Very nice. What about this tall stuff that looks like grass? What is that? 
Do you remember what this is? Yeah. What is it? Leaves. Those are leaves, yeah, but what, what? Do you remember what it is? Corn? Corn? Corn. Yeah, corn. Good job. Very good. What else do we have over here? What else is over here? Daisies. Daisies. And poppies. And poppies. Good job. You're noticing all the diversity. What's a squash? Wow, look at that. Summer squash. Wow. We have a lot of diversity in our garden, huh? Yep. Aren't we so thankful for our abundance? Do we know what those uh, orange flowers are? Marigolds. Those are marigolds? Yes. Yeah. Wow, and look at that corn. It's almost from taller. Mexico. It's from taller than the. Brown. Marigolds are from Mexico? From holidays, but they're taller than Spanish. Do you know what they're called in Spanish? Yeah, they're muertos. Dia de los muertos is the holiday we use the marigolds in. Very good. So we have some some herbaceous stuff and some woody stuff in our garden, huh? What about those really tall ones back there? What are those? The ones with the super big leaves. Yeah, they're leaves, but what, what what kind of flowers are they? Kind of uh, flowers. Those are sunflowers. Yeah. Awesome. What do you notice that's different about the leaves? How are how are how are these leaves here? They're big. They're big. Some of them are big and some are small, huh? Yeah. Why do you think some leaves would have? Why do you think some plants would have big leaves and some plants would have small leaves? Say that again? Oh, okay. Our earth will begin with biodiversity, huh? Or it'll make our earth better and we can survive. Yeah, biodiversity is a way that we survive. So if we have a lot of biodiversity and we have a lot of cultures that can complement each other, then we have better chances of survival. So if we plant biodiversity, just like Cammie's in the middle of a very diverse field of flowers and vegetables. The more we plant that's different, the more that will survive because they can all work and fulfill different needs in the garden. So tell me one thing, what, what's each of your favorite flowers? Point one out to me. You like sunflowers? What about you, Lucas? I like poppies. You like the poppies? The pink poppies or the orange poppies? Uh, Yellow. No, yeah. um, red. You like yeah, red. red? Okay. Yeah, red. We're we're passing the torch down to you. You know what that means? Like this. To pass the torch. Here to you, and then you're gonna learn teach your kids. And I'm passing the torch to you. Friends and family to do that. What is a torch? A light. A light. Farming and agriculture is a light for a community, and it's a very important responsibility that we're slowly teaching you that you can be responsible for. Because one day you're going to inherit the earth, and you're going to have to keep shining that light for other people. That sound good? Yep. You feel like you're learning? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Great job, guys. <laughs>